Rain Ball is the creative director over at Round, Round Peg and has over 30 years of marketing experience. And I think she's lying because she doesn't look that old. Come on. So <laughs> Round Peg is always popping with never-ending stream of ideas. And as a native New Yorker, Lorraine is a Hoosier by choice. And she's committed to fostering growth and entrepreneurship in the city that she's adopted. Recognizing, recognized by the IBJ as one of the most influential women in Indianapolis, she's a local active local member in the Indianapolis startup community and one of the organizers of Indianapolis Startup Weekend and, and my friends. So give a, a round of applause to Ms. Lorraine Ball. The future of our economy does not lie in our ability to attract the next Honda or Toyota plant to this city. It will not depend on our ability to resurrect some Chrysler plant somewhere in Kokomo. The future of our economy in central Indiana will depend on our ability to build new businesses. It will depend on our ability to create new jobs and new employment through new companies. When you look at the governor's statistics, the majority of new employment in this state is coming from us. It is in this so strongly that I got involved with and invited Startup Weekend to come back to Indiana five years ago. Today, I am part of a growing global community that believes that we can change our economy 54 hours at a time. And as crazy as that sounds, there are more than 40,000 people worldwide who share that belief with me. There are more than 40,000 people who have been a part of one or more startup weekends. Now, you might think that the majority of these attendees are techies, and they are. But Startup Weekend is not just about the tech. It is about accountants, it's about lawyers, it's about business development people. It's about people with ideas trying to find people who can help them make those ideas a reality. And it is not just a young person's game. I have sat at startup weekends with people as young as 17, sitting side by side with somebody who is 70, looking for their life's next great adventure. And at that table, in that room, trying to start a business in 54 hours, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what your credentials are. It only matters what you do. Now, I'm going to be honest. The vast majority of businesses that come out of Startup Weekend fail. They don't make it more than a few weeks or a few months. And so you're probably thinking to yourself, OK, so why exactly are you so crazy about an idea that is an obvious failure? It's because. Startup Weekend is not really about building businesses. It is about building a community. It is about bringing together creative, smart, interesting people to share a common experience and a common language, to learn to do things together and take that learning back into the community. Today, I can walk through a Verge event or an Innovation Summit, and I can talk to one of the hundreds of startup alums here in central Indiana. And I can talk to them about their second or their third startup that is now successful, that is being run in partnership with someone they met at a startup weekend, or using a technology they learned at a startup weekend. We are changing this economy 54 hours at a time. If you want to know more, I'm going to be around after the presentations. But come join us and be a part of our next 54 hours on November 16th. <laughs>